that deal. 
cause almost no damage. I made a mistake. As long as it doesn't jump again, I'm feeling fairly confident. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't play. I should not play. I should die.
start of the game, um, you get both the sword and the shield of that thing. And I'm fairly confident they're at least, you know, mildly decent. But this is what we wanted. The Erd Tree's favor. something. I feel like I might be missing something. Oh, that was 
was kind of worth it. That is a good amount of runes. survived that, I'll be honest, but I am very glad that I did. This is gonna be the end, I think. Definitely. I do not think I am ready <laughs> for this. Everything looks alright. 
just to be as safe as possible. I'm also going to attempt to do wrong one. not worth it at all in any way, shape, or form. That was so not worth it. But we did it. Somehow. Somehow we managed to do it. Our wolves definitely saved our life.
sign. 
like uh, Soul Hail from Dark Souls 3, I think that's what it was, maybe Crystal Hail, <laughs> something dumb like that. So the annoying thing about writing NPCs that uh, can cast sorceries is they don't have a limit on their FP. It is infuriating because no matter what, you've got a hard limit. You can only use so many spells before just not being able to anymore. But theirs is unlimited and it is so stupid. So it makes me feel like it has some secondary effect where it increases a magic attack or something. So it kind of makes me want to try farming for it, but I despise the enemies in that area. They are so irritating to deal with. Thank you. 
undoubtedly 100% pure unfairness. is making me feel like something isn't going right. But I'm not a psychopath. I'm not going to let a spellcaster shoot spells at me as I'm trying to parkour. Because I'm going to have to parkour when I go up there. Okay, so I cut it out, but I did end up managing to somehow essentially just kept doing the same strategy of uh, just trying to dodge their spells and hit them back with my spells. And it did work. I ended up getting the magic downpour spell. But um, now we have to deal with this. There's that a this one. Hit it with three spells because I am not playing. And then I, I don't see anywhere else to go. That makes me wonder if I missed something or if this is genuinely supposed to be the end.
is the only sorcery. Oh, the cerulean seed talisman. I feel like that's going to give me FP based on uh, critical hits. Oh, that's... well... <laughs> I would have preferred the critical hits considering my flask already fully heals me for quite a bit. And I imagine it's going to be a long while until it doesn't fully heal me. like something I should be able to get to. It looks like there's supposed to be some sort of gravity switcheroo thing. Like, uh, that would explain why there was one body on the ceiling of one of these beams. <laughs> oh, he didn't even die. Um, supposed to do because it's kind of not doing anything. What if I try a great bow? And try a great arrow? See if maybe that has more weight to it or something. Nope, wrong one. Go back in. to fully draw it back. Nope. So after a little digging, um, I don't have access. <laughs> I cannot complete the inverted version of this tower. So unfortunately, we are going to end it there. I should attempt to uh, try out this quest that I'm supposed to do to be able to do that tower inverted. But uh, I can't do that in this video because we are already at our limit. So we are going to have to end it there. Oh, that's pretty. So at that, feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw slash heard or subscribe if you want to watch more of my content or be notified when I upload. I hope you have 